Aside from the Dark Knight trilogy, director Christopher Nolan has made only standalone films and has not thrown himself into making interconnected franchises. However, this has not stopped the filmmaker from connecting his films to each other in some way, shape, or form. An example of this would be the concept of time, whether it be its flow or humanity's perception of it. There is a trilogy of films found in Nolan's filmography that dip into this topic, beginning with 2010's Inception. With a high bar set by The Dark Knight, Christopher Nolan takes the action genre as well as various other genre elements to make Inception, which he had been working on for quite some time. Though Nolan is by no means the first director to explore dreams on the big screen, he certainly had great fun playing with what dream worlds could be. A set of rules is established for the film's dreamscapes, with a group of uniquely skilled criminals to either steal information or plant an idea in someone's mind. This band is played by a great cast that has great chemistry on screen, whether it's the quick-thinking Arthur, played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, or the comedic aims played by Tom Hardy. Despite the film being an ensemble adventure, it also has a personal story to tell at its core. The film's protagonist, Dominic Cobb, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, is a criminal that is trying to get back to his family, but the guilt that he feels about his wife Mal's suicide keeps getting in the way, putting him and his crew in danger. Actress Marion Cotillard, if you think about it, really, isn't playing the part of Mal Cobb so much as she is playing the part of the memory of her which is fueled by Cobb's guilt. She is the negative memory, the traumatic experience that keeps lurking in the shadows of each situation and doesn't go away until it is faced head on. Cotillard was a much better pick for this role than she was for Talia al Ghul in The Dark Knight Rises two years later, but the character had her own problems with the writing in that movie, so it's not entirely the actress's fault. The criticisms of Inception have to do with how long it takes to get going and how the second act can sometimes drag. Now, I understand the movie taking its time to set up its characters. I get that. But with a two hour and 28 minute long runtime, the first act taking an hour is pushing it. The great thing, though, is that the film sets up layers of threats and stakes for the film's mission. Nolan's films have had some great third act sequences, but this film just keeps building on itself. The team enters the first dream level and they end up having to be driven around while being chased and shot at. In the second dream, they are kept in a room, but gravity is all over the place because they are being thrown around due to being in a moving vehicle, vehicle in level one. What ends up happening in the second dream level is perhaps the most impressive when it comes to filmmaking. For Arthur's hallway fight scene, the crew had to build three different sets to capture Nolan's vision for the scene. The third level, though it doesn't have any unique thing about it, despite it being awesome in its own right, Mal's interference makes Cobb and Ariadne enter Cobb's world, which by this point is in decay and this pits Cobb against his guilt. Cobb, of course, decides to save the mind of his employer from limbo, Mr. Sato, played by Ken Watambe, which brings us back to the film's first scene. Inception is a film that is better than I remember. Nolan takes the very real experience of dreaming and plays with it to make an amazing heist film with only one thing to pick at. Joined by a great cast, a great score by Hans Zimmer, and an insane third act, Inception is my personal favorite from director Christopher Nolan, with a 9.5 out of 10. Hello everyone, this is Movies with Michael, and if you enjoyed that movie review, you can show it by leaving a like on this video, commenting down below what you thought about the movie, whether you loved it, whether you hated it, or was it right there in between, and consider clicking that subscribe button and turning on notifications to get notified about my latest videos.